Hello my loves and welcome back to your favourite podcast Growing and Glowing with me your host Mrs Ellie Swift. I missed you guys, how are you all? This podcast is our safe space to delve into all things life learnings there may be spirituality, grief, motherhood, friendship, the list goes on and I am here to provide you with a friend through the very up and down journey that can be growing and of course glowing into the very best version of who you truly are. Okay, POV. It's 7pm on a Monday night. You've just finished watching the Kardashians and you go onto TikTok for a scroll. You come across another that girl morning routine. She's there with her iced coffee, butterflies in her ice cubes. She's tap, tap, tapping her acrylic nails away on the glass. She's got her little glass straw from Amazon. She sits down to work at her desk and it's all really cute and everything is really organised. And you think, you know what? I would totally smash the that girl trend if I had enough energy, if I wasn't this tired, if I had a full night's sleep last night, if I just had more money, if I just had more time, I would smash the that girl routine. But we're all self-aware girlies, so you know you're the only one standing in your way when you see this that girl tiktok between you right now and you in your mind of who you as that girl is and so the mind starts thinking we start dusting these cobwebs off the shelf babe and we feel inspired to start again and that is exactly where i have been every single evening since pretty much giving birth to Romeo that is literally where I've been and do you know what we are 12 weeks almost deep guys we are slowly but surely day by day hour by hour crawling out of the newborn days which don't get me wrong this time around my second time around has been much sweeter I've been much more confident in my ability to be the best mum I found strength in the overwhelming moments of newborn the newborn era but here we are we're getting out of it very very slowly don't get me wrong Romeo is still very young he's not even three months yet but I am ready with a capital R to start feeling more like me and I've been ready guys since since before even I gave birth like since before I was pregnant since before I even became a mum to saint in the first place like I have been so ready to be that girl in my mind for as long as I can remember and we go through eras don't we 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 start becoming that girl in our mind and when I say that girl by the way I say it in inverted commas that girl is whoever you are as the best version of you in your mind it's not about becoming someone else's that girl it's not about it's like Barbie you know like we're all Barbie I'm Barbie, you're Barbie. By the way, number one and only one thing on the highlight reel this week, the Barbie movie. Who's seen it? Oh my God, this podcast episode is literally like becoming Barbie. I might title it that. How to be your best Barbie self. Oh my God. Uh, you guys need to go and see that film. Listen, I know it's has, I know it's had mixed reviews. Um, when I put on my story that I was going to see it, half of them were literally like, oh my god, you're going to be obsessed, you're going to love it, I know you are. The other half were like, it was rubbish, I hated every second, didn't get it. Listen, I understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea. I think when like this Barbie movie was coming out, everybody had like a set expectation of it. And I think it's gone on to really excel those expectations for so many people and I think for other people they were just like what I don't get it but my personal takeaway of it was that it was so deep it had so many layers there was so much to take away from it I was a huge huge fan of the Barbie film and I would go and take anybody multiple times if they wanted to go and see it with me I would literally sit and watch that film like 10 times over but becoming that girl in your mind is literally like the Barbie the Barbie thing like I'm Barbie you're Barbie we all have the ability the love the joy the 
beauty, the confidence, the shine to be Barbie, but have we been taking steps to become her, you know? And I have curated over the last few weeks a checklist, a to-do list, an organised route of how I'm going to get there and daily steps that I'm going to be taking as a routine to become my Barbie, to become my that girl. And today that is what I'm sharing with you. But first, guys, I would absolutely love if wherever you're listening to me today, whether it's on Apple Podcasts, YouTube or Spotify, you left us a little review down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far of the podcast. Mum life has been mumming, I can't lie. I'm so sorry that it has been a little while since we had an episode. I know you guys get it. I know you mums out there get it. Some t- The mums that get it, get it. <laughs> but you guys know these podcasts growing and glowing this community over here it means the world to me it makes my heart feel so so full and I would absolutely love to get to know you a little bit better by leaving a little review and let me know what you think of the podcast so far but today's affirmation we are just going to go straight in put a hand over our heart oh do you know what reach them up to the sky today yes babe I am here here who's in class on how to become the that girl on how to become barbie me affirmation let's go i am safe to start showing up as the best version of me i am safe to start showing up as the best version of me and why do i choose to put safe in there because i feel like when we add the word safe into something instead of being i am ready to start showing up as this best version of me by stating that we feel safe to do so it's taking it back a little bit to our inner child that for some reason just needs that little bit of encouragement whatever excuse you have been giving to yourself recently on why you are not that girl why you are not barbie all the reasons why you could never you're too tired you don't have enough time you don't have enough money whatever it is in your mind that is holding you back Once we tell ourselves that we are safe to see those things and move through those things, it's like removing a barrier. It's like my number one hack to removing negative beliefs about self is telling myself that I feel safe to do that. I am okay to do that. I deserve to do that. So I am safe to start showing up as the best version of who I truly am, you know? We're going to start thinking like her. We're going to start moving like her. We're going to start feeling like her. And it's going to be beautiful. So like I said I have created a list of things that I'm going to be doing to get myself into check basically and I am actually going to be starting this as a challenge with anybody else literally anybody else who would like to join me so you know what I'm just looking at my diary my phone right now we are going to be starting this challenge on monday the 31st of july we are going to go into august we are going to step into leo season jumping in with both feet ready to turn up as that girl that is how we're spending our last few weeks of summer we're going to go into autumn winter feeling like her and let me tell you yes it's tempting i literally go on holiday two days after that date we are going to literally be starting when I go on vacation it has never been more tempting to give in to those stories I tell myself of oh you know what I'm just going to keep eating like rubbish for just for the holiday and then I'm going to get and then I'm going to get back on it when I'm back no I won't no I won't because then I'm going to think oh it's only three weeks and then it's going to be September and I'm going to be having hot chocolates every day and I'm going to need to eat a whole packet of digestives with them and then I'm going to have to have chocolate fudge brownie for dessert after my chicken pie my current chicken pie recipe that I'm nailing because I want to be that mum we're talking about being that girl I have a whole nother section of my life how I'm becoming that mum that has a chicken pie recipe just under her belt you know she she could just pop to tesco's she doesn't even need the recipe babe she can just pop to tesco's get the stuff whip it up and the kids are coming over for dinner what yeah that's going to be my that mum era there's always going to be in your mind a better time to try and start something but let me tell you my love there is no such thing as a right time and growing and glowing is literally an example i had this under my belt for so so long years plus and I was waiting and waiting for the right time to kick it off and there never came a right time so I just started and I could not be more thankful that I did and that's just a loving reminder to anybody that needs to hear it there's never a right time babe just jump straight in and that is what we're doing we are going to be starting our that girl routines on Monday the 31st of July 
I'm going to be doing daily TikToks. We're going to have a hashtag. We're going to make it like a proper challenge. And you need to go and make sure you follow me over on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok because that is where I'm going to be posting all of the info about how we properly join. But of course, my growing and glowing girlies heard it here first. So who's excited? And here is a full breakdown of everything I'm going to be doing from Monday the 31st of July for 30 days. We're going to do it for 30 days. And we're going to become that girl okay so firstly we're going to be becoming that girl in our health section of life okay health wealth happiness love style hygiene all of it I'm so excited this is literally going to be like such a life-changing 30 days for all of us I can just tell and I want to state as well this is not about following a diet this is not about losing x amount of pounds this is just about feeling like an inner goddess that is waiting to be called through we're just bringing her to light that's all we're not about losing weight right now we're not about calorie counting we're not doing any of that if that for you is becoming that girl my love feel free you can incorporate whatever you like into being that girl routine but the general consensus as i'm treating myself like a beginner we're just here to level up with our mindset we're just here to level up with our energy as a beginner state the that girl challenge by ellie swift and growing and glowing is not about that we are just ready to start showing up as her you know so first of all supplements and vitamins now i've never been too much of a supplement and vitamin girly i'm gonna be completely honest um the only time in life i like have fully religiously taken vitamins and supplements for an extended consistent amount of time has been during my pregnancies because during pregnancy it is really recommended to take a daily vitamin including folic acid vitamin d that kind of stuff um and this time postpartum i just kind of didn't really want to get out of the routine of it i am just keeping it basic and i'm just doing a daily multivitamin um a daily omega-3 i'm taking a probiotic which not to be tmi but my digestive system thrives when i take a probiotic compared to when i don't I don't know if I'm speaking to the masses right now. I don't know if though there are those out there that can relate. Oh my goodness, my digestive system is on fire when I take a probiotic compared to when I don't. And then I'm also taking a breastfeeding support um, multivitamin that it just basically is like an, an amplifier for the vitamins that you're already taking because I am breastfeeding. So I would just want to make sure that I'm getting in as much goodness as I possibly can. And so just by doing those things, I feel like I'm really taking care of myself from the inside out. I am really entering a whole new chapter of the way I'm kind of looking at my body. I don't know if it's pregnancy and motherhood that has done it to me or just simply aging and getting older in life. And recognising that our body is like our vehicle to go through life. This is the same body I'm going to be having when I'm 70 years old. And it sounds so obvious, but I just really want to start taking fucking good care of myself. Do you know what I mean? I just want to look after me because nobody else can do that for you, essentially. And I'm not even going to lie, guys, that TikTok filter of the age effect has triggered this in me, okay? I've been looking at myself in that filter thinking she is staring at me through that mirror reflection and she is saying honey if you don't give me those multivitamins now we're not gonna get on very well that's what i'm gonna say do you know what i mean i'm gonna be looking back at you and thinking that 27 year old should have just taken the multivitamin babe do you know what i mean so taking my supplements and vitamins every single day is a big one for me second of all movement now since the day i found out i was pregnant with romeo i have not worked out once i don't think i've walked any longer than 20 minutes honestly honestly speaking and it's so bizarre because my pregnancy with saint was the complete opposite i had like four pt sessions a week when i was pregnant with saint up until the very very end which was crazy because then with romeo like i said i didn't do anything and i still haven't And we're nearly 12 weeks deep now, you know, from giving birth. So I am desperate, dying to get back into my movement. And the rule that I'm setting us all for our for our 30 day that girl challenge is not that you have to do like a full on sweaty session once a day. I'm just going to ask you to be doing one form of exercise every single day. And if that's a 20 minute walk, it's a 20 minute walk that is still movement. But we're still going to be out here moving our body doing what we can to just get those endorphins flowing 
I'm going to be incorporating it through walking, through doing my Peloton sessions, because I absolutely adored my spin sessions in the lead up to the wedding when I was on quite a big weight loss journey. I really want to get back into yoga and Pilates. So they are my four and weight training, actually, my five that I'm going to be doing walking, weight training, Peloton, yoga, Pilates. They are what I'm going to be doing. And we have to do one thing with movement every single day. So realistically looking at my schedule and my routine with two young children, work to do, general life to live, you know, I'm probably going to be aiming to do three to four maximum I'm probably going to say looking at my schedule realistically workouts a week so I don't know if that's like one yoga session a week one weightlifting session a week and one peloton session a week and then the other four days of the week doing a half an hour to 45 minute walk but movement it's so good for you it makes you feel so so good there is no good in being sedentary guys there is nothing that comes out of that that benefits you we were given this gorgeous body to move our little bum do you know what I mean we were put on this body with these two legs, with these two arms, with this beating heart, with these two working lungs, to get fresh air in them and move, dance, jump. Movement is energy and it makes you feel so, so good. So movement. And another thing that I'm going to be incorporating within that is an Apple Watch. Now, I know that people have mixed reviews on these. Some people love them. Some people completely hate them. I just think it's totally up to the person. Like, if seeing your habits and your your like metrics down to a T works for you and motivates you, brilliant. If it doesn't, that's totally your cool babe. For me, there's an added element of like motivation there because if my wrist is literally telling me, okay, it's time to stand up, you've been sat down for six hours in a row, babe. I'm like, you know what? That is a thought I would not have had unless I just read it off of you. So thank you so much. But I've also been seeing these aura rings around, which I am so desperate to try out. They're not cheap, but I really, 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 really want to try one. It's like a full wellness ring honestly it's supposed to track your sleep it's supposed to track your stress levels it's supposed to track your movement it can even track your calories like this is literally all one ring like and and I think the way it's been designed is it's supposed to look like really nice and aesthetic on your finger obviously I know an apple watch is like quite quite a statement on the wrist really isn't it it's quite a jewelry statement is she the apple watch but the aura ring is supposed to just be like really discreet and kind of go with go with your vibe So I'm definitely going to be getting back into one of those for our 30 day challenge is just having that because I know that for me, that's just, like I said, an added element of motivation, really. Next up on the list is sleep and wake time. We have to start paying attention to how well we're sleeping. To the mums out there, babe, you know, you don't even have to ask me twice. I am literally a mum of a newborn, babe. Like, my sleep has not been thriving like it would be if I'd be sleeping in a five-star hotel every single night with these duck down duvet pillows and a threaded linen you know I've been sleeping in with a next to me crib with a baby that wakes up a husband that snores stress in my shoulders tension headaches breastfeeding I've not been thriving with my sleep but having said that sleep is so important and it really really makes a difference on the way you feel the first week when we brought Romeo home and because I was getting to grips with the breastfeeding I became really really sleep deprived and I'm not joking I thought I was going to do lally I was not myself I can't explain it it was actually quite like that first week because I was so sleep deprived it was quite an outer body experience a lot of the whole thing it was like wow I'm trudging through the mud here like sleep makes such a difference it's crazy so just being very aware where I'm spending my time in the evening if I've had a really really poor night's sleep the night before if I know that one of my children is not feeling great or 100% and it's likely that they're going to be waking up through the night for my help then it's being self-aware enough to not stay up until 11 o'clock watching Modern Family or scrolling on Instagram or doing the online shopping that I've been telling myself I can treat myself to all day like I tuck myself up into bed by 9 p.m absolute latest like you will not see me anywhere post 9 p.m you actually won't see me anywhere post 8 p.m really because from there I'm sort of like gearing myself up for bed but 9 p.m I make sure I'm in bed I'm usually up by 6 30 most mornings so just really sticking to a to a decent time to go to bed at night and doing all that we can to get that good sleep in water I bet you haven't drunk enough water today. If you think you've drunk enough water, babe, drink some more. 
I need to go and get my big Stanley cup but how did I not bring it in this room when I'm literally have the audacity to be filming and recording at that girl routine I don't have my Stanley cup in here water is magic and we all need it drink your water there's nothing left to say on that next up is doing something good for the mind now there are multiple branches in this umbrella of doing things that are good for the mind that we can all kind of take and use within our own lives for whatever resonates with ourselves so mine for example is having therapy it's reading a book in fact that's that's a non-negotiable that I'm going to actually be setting in the 30 day challenge for sure is reading at least 10 pages of a book or if you're going to be listening to an audiobook or a podcast instead of that you have to listen to at least 20 minutes at least but it's striving to learn something new. It's striving to figure out something about yourself. But listen, this is where things start to get complicated because up until now, we've heard it all before. It's not rocket science. We've all heard move more, eat better, drink more water, meditate. We've all heard that. We all know that that is how we get to our next level self. We all know that's how we get to our Barbie era, our being that girl era. But I'm about to hit you with a quote that you're gonna wanna put on Pinterest right now, babe. The secret of our future is hidden in our daily routine. And that's just facts. So if we really want to start showing up as our best self, these are the things we have to do. And doing something that is good for the mind is absolutely one of those key ingredients to it. Whether it's therapy, whether it's reading, whether it's setting those boundaries within yourself to know that, okay, I'm actually going to go to bed at nine o'clock tonight instead of scrolling for those two hours unnecessarily on TikTok. Or do you know what? I've literally not even stepped foot outside the house today. I need some fresh air in my lungs. I need some time outside, which is actually another thing on the 30 day challenge that we're going to be doing. We have to get out and do some grounding in nature. Spending time outside in the fresh air is not only good because it's gorgeous it reduces your blood pressure it reduces your muscle tension it even reduces the production of stress hormone and i know we all need a bit of a reduction production of our stress hormone so spend time outdoors i cannot emphasize enough how good my toddler's day has been when he has spent a substantial amount of time outside in the garden or walking or playing in a field like he he very 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 clearly very very visibly thrives compared to when he's been inside on a rainy day nature is amazing so spending time in nature every single day but taking it back to doing something for your mind the mind is happiest when we are progressing towards something progression is happiness and progression in whatever form it is whether it's physically emotionally or mentally progression is definitely on my becoming that girl routine another massive step that i'm taking to becoming that girl is actually something that I feel like I could do a whole separate episode on because this is quite a hefty hefty chunk of like what I want to talk about but I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet for this episode but let me know if you'd prefer like a much more in-depth one about this but I I don't know if it's like since becoming a mum or what but I just feel like I've had a little bit of a self-identity crisis recently in my style in my presentation of myself in how I feel about the way I look and not to say that that's like it's a negative thing like it's not like I look in the mirror and I'm like oh my god who are you and what have we done with Ellie it's not like that but I just feel like I've I've just not been putting the time and care into myself that I was five years ago you know and I used to feel so good about the way I dressed and I used to feel so good about the way I looked and the confidence that came off of that made me feel really happy and like really like myself and I guess 101 days of wearing hoodies and a pair of leggings does that to you do you know what I mean so I'm really going down a path at the moment of kind of like kind of being inspired to reinvent my style and my my routines and my daily makeup routine and the 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 way I look after my hair and things like that I don't know I don't know if it's an aging thing like I said before I don't know if it's just that I'm taking my body a little bit less for granted nowadays but I am really really on a path since giving birth to Romeo that I just really want to honor my body and look after my body and dress it in a way that makes me feel really confident and not just keep on try to keep up with this style that I was following like nine years ago you know like I've always just bought things that I like the look of which don't get me wrong 
it's not exactly gone wrong for me do you know what I mean like there's really nothing nothing wrong with that and that is how I'm sure everybody really bases their style but I kind of just want to curate it into something a bit more than that now I want to start dressing like I'm showing up to be the best version of me so I'm going to incorporate that personally into my 30 day challenge and that doesn't mean like doing a full face of makeup every day or wearing heels every day or dressing like my icon style queen Rosie Huntington Whitley or Sophia Ritchie but it just means really taking care about the way I present myself in some way so for me that's making sure that I'm tanned because I feel so much more confident when I'm tanned honestly a big process in getting to love my body was learning to love loving my body if that makes sense loving to moisturize loving to feel glowy when I put my makeup on loving to know that my my hair feels really shiny and I smell nice and all of these kind of things so loving to love my body wearing perfume every day I've actually been wearing recently I did a massive Sephora order massive Sephora UK order guys it's actually groundbreaking the stuff that I've got I need to show you guys in a TikTok or something but I bought the replica bubble bath perfume by Maison Margiela and it is a real like clean girl aesthetic fresh out the washing machine talcum powder kind of vibe you know I'm actually wearing it right now it's really really nice I, I love it and I, I just feel like for me you know if I've got like a clean hairstyle I'm wearing an outfit that kind of somewhat makes me feel put together I'm wearing a spray of my little perfume that makes me feel like I smell nice and I've brushed my teeth and I've looked after myself my oral hygiene is another one like I really want to I've just bought myself a water flosser I've got myself some teeth whitening strips I've even bought a tongue scraper have you guys ever had a tongue scraper if you are not brushing your tongue when you brush your teeth, by the way, I know it sounds gross, but you're doing it wrong, babe. I learned that way too late in life that we need to be brushing our tongues. If you can do everything, you can be chewing gum unless you've brushed your tongue that day or scraped your tongue with a tongue scraper. It will not eliminate the bad breath, honestly. We all need tongue scrapers in our life. Connor was literally so upset that I hadn't bought him one as well. And I said, honey, you are not share in mind so you need to get on Sephora and get your own babe but yeah just this general consensus of taking a lot more care in the way I present myself the daily presentation of how I am how I look how I feel what my vibe is I would hate to sound vain or or shallow in this but how I look I feel you know if I look a mess I probably feel a mess if I look put together, I probably feel a lot more put together. I probably feel a lot more organized in my life. So over the 30 days, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to be making a real active effort every single day to take care in the way I present myself. And like I said, it doesn't mean a full face of makeup every day. It just means doing these small things like my skincare routine, my oral hygiene routine, doing the perfume, doing the updo, wearing the matching set, having the fake tan on that makes me feel best, you know? And then lastly, now I feel like this is like, <laughs> I feel like this is a real mum thing, but I feel like me pre-motherhood would have really thrived off of this as well. But I just feel like it's one of those things that, it doesn't really hit home to you until you have kids how important being organized is and when I say being organized I don't mean like having a to-do list babe I mean like literally decluttering your life decluttering your makeup bag decluttering your nappy bag decluttering your shoe cupboard um doing the food shop in advance online so it's delivered do you know what I mean so you're not at the point where you open the fridge and you're like oh my god I literally have nothing to eat here are some questions to ask yourself every single night in order to make yourself feel organized the next day what do I want for dinner tomorrow 99.99999 recurring percent of the time if I have not planned my dinner I am a mess I end up eating pizza or cheesy chips or garlic bread honey nothing wrong with any of those but if I'm in my wellness era if I'm in my being that girl era I want to make sure that I'm eating nutritious food I'm talking a chili con carne with loads of fiber in from the red kidney beans with loads of hidden vegetables because yes I may be 27 I may have two babies I still don't like the taste of vegetables and there's nothing wrong with that but by asking myself what I want for dinner tomorrow if I want to have a slow cooker chili con carne I know that that's one of the first things I need to do in the morning to make myself feel put together by the evening. Another question to ask, am I going to move my body tomorrow? If so, when? Because I don't know about any of you other mums out there, 
I cannot just put on my trainers and go. Like, I need to know if I'm going to be working out tomorrow. I need to know if I've got a gym class to hit up. And I need to also emotionally prepare myself for it. I need to be like, okay, I'm going to be out of the house for an hour. And when I come home, that's when I'm going to have my shower. Because one of my first things I do in my morning routine is get up and shower. But I'm also kind of one of those people that is like, well, if I'm going to be working out later in the morning there's no point showering and washing my hair before do you know what I mean so what do I want for dinner tomorrow am I going to be moving my body tomorrow do I need to have anything ready to go tomorrow aka mum example the nappy bag are we going out for a day out tomorrow we're going to Peppa Pig World tomorrow are we going out for a picnic tomorrow what do I need for the picnic am I taking the kids to soft play tomorrow but is the nappy bag ready and it doesn't have to be the nappy bag it's whatever relates to you in your life whether it's your handbag or your backpack or your school bag have you got the bag of your life ready to rock and roll tomorrow so you're not rushing around last minute trying to get everything in have we got nappies have we got wipes have we got a blanket have we got a spare change of clothes for the baby and for me because we all know that's needed sometimes you don't want to end up on a flight home from turkey with a pool of baby sick down your sports bra because you have nothing else to change into because this was the fourth time you were violently thrown up on within the space of an hour on this flight and now you've got to drive all the way home from gatwick at 2 a.m with a pool of baby sick down your bra because that happened to me once, if you didn't know. So yeah, just feeling organised and setting ourselves up for success, you know? And that is, in its entirety, basically, without wanting to completely overload on you on every single aspect of every single point of one of those, like I would love to, but I know we're all busy ladies. That is the core and the crux of my being that girl routine we still need to come up with an official name for the challenge let me know what you guys think it should be i'd love to hear it from you please let me know in the dms i really want to come up with like a cool catchy name like a cool hashtag that we can all do together i'm gonna have a really good think about it but monday the 31st of july we are gonna be ready we are gonna be safe as our daily affirmation says to be showing up as the best version of who we truly are and we're gonna be having all of these habits we're going to be having our routine to get into it and like I said make sure you are following me over on TikTok Instagram and YouTube for the ins and outs of how to really do this thing together like don't get me wrong guys we might all be on this journey individually but we are here as a team together I might even try and set up like a group chat or something of that kind of manner to really like pull us all in and really get us feeling motivated what do you guys think let me know but yeah that's gonna go ahead and finish off today's episode my loves i hope you enjoyed it let's finish off and round off with our growing and glowing moments of the week as always guys please join in with your own our growing moment is something we have learned through this week and our glowing moment is something that we are proud of this week we are shining of this week so my growing moment this week was i actually went out on saturday it was my first time away from Romeo properly. I'd left him about two or three times with Connor when Romeo was asleep. Romeo, if you didn't know, is breastfeeding. We are exclusively breastfeeding. He does take the bottle, thank goodness, because there have been a couple of times that I have expressed and fed it to Romeo through a bottle. Uh, started it in the early days of breastfeeding when Romeo was first born because I wasn't sure kind of which feeding route I wanted to really go down. But he does take a bottle so I am able to leave him with someone else should I need to but really only if I've pumped which I don't always do because 99% of the time we're breastfeeding but it was my friend's birthday and it had been in the diary for weeks and I was like you know what I'm gonna go and let my hair down and it was a real growing moment for me because I had so much anxiety walking out that door I really really did it was my first drink in four ever I didn't even drink on my wedding night last August because that's when I knew I was pregnant with Romeo so I hadn't really let my hair down not that I like went crazy on this night out at all it wasn't even a night out it was just a birthday party but I literally had about three like cocktails and that was me letting my hair down if you guys have been around for a really long time you'll know that I'm not much of a drinker never have been but I of course do enjoy socializing with my friends but I had so much anxiety and panic as I was leaving the house and I was really really worried that I don't even know what I was worried about my intrusive thoughts were just telling me that something was going to go wrong and that the babies weren't going to be able to be set I say the baby saints too he's still my baby he's always going to be my baby even when he's 25 the babies weren't going to be able to be settled and I was going to have to rush home and it was all going to be so emotional and 
I was going to have extreme mum guilt for ever putting myself first and doing what I wanted to do but as I knew don't get me wrong I had a couple of wobbles as I knew as soon as I got there I was like oh breath of fresh air because everyone's fine really everyone's fine and I'm so safe coming back to that point I'm so safe to turn up as me and to have time on my own and to connect with who I am pre-motherhood because she's still there and it's still safe to let her be seen it's still safe to feel the feelings of someone that is still a someone without children you know and my children chose me because I'm me my husband chose me because I'm me and so if I lose myself to being this like housewife that I am in my mind or this mum that takes up the majority of my identity at the moment because I am in that stage of my life then I'm gonna forget who I really am and why these people chose me why these friends chose me to be their friend you know I don't want to get lost in that and so I can still do this and the world doesn't fall apart and it feels good you know so that was my growing moment and my glowing moment was actually seeing the Barbie film you know that was a real glowing moment for me it was like oh my god what I'm just so like happy to be living in 2023 where the Barbie movie has so much to it there's so much to learn there's so much like girl power but also layers and lessons and stuff to really really think about and take away from that film and I'm just like wow that was just a great film so everyone needs to go and see Barbie and get the Barbie Tango Ice Blast while you're at it it was sold out at my OG and I was deeply saddened just end up going for a medium mixed Tango Ice Blast anyway so I didn't really lose that on much but I really wanted a Barbie one but they were all sold out sadly but let me know below what your growing and glowing moments of the week are my loves I'm so excited to be starting this challenge with you next week don't forget to follow me across my social so that we can all start together and we can really do the ins and outs of it and we can like you know have our hashtag and have our group chat and blah 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 but honored to have had you here today for this episode as always my love thank you so much for tuning in I hope you go on to have a magical wonderful rest of your week and I'll be here for you next week Goodbye.